Well, there are at least three different databases that you can use when working with GCAT Plus in order to find just that species you need for a particular application. The simplest is to go to the GCAD Plus drop-down menu and attach what's called a GCP file. That's just a standard text file. I've added one here, so I can select Edit That Plant List. So here's the GCP file displayed. If we scroll to the bottom of this list, you can see there's some 430 entries in it, and it's organised in alphabetical order of botanical names. So if I click on the top there, we sort order changes. So we're back to alphabetical order of botanical name, but you can also sort on alphabetical order of common name, or more usefully, sort on type, and then just scroll down a litter, and that puts all the grasses and all the ground covers together, the tall trees and small trees and so on. You can also add information, add columns, resize things, add information on costing. Clearly costing is going to be very personal and located to your particular application, but you can put in pot size and costing and so on. Now the database is used in GCAT Plus. This type of database is used to tag particular species. So let's close that for the moment. It's attached and we've got a symbol here. And let's say we want to attach that to a particular plant species. Even though it doesn't look much like an Acer, well let's imagine that it is going to be we're going to specify an Acer there. So we go GCAD plus set data to a plant, click on the symbol that we want to assign, and then we'll just type in here Acer and hit the enter key. It says it can't find it because I didn't spell it correctly. It's A C E R and hit enter and the list drops down and finds the first Acer in there. So I want a particular Acer palmatum, one particular Japanese maple, and I tag it and I say OK. Well now when I move my mouse and click on that symbol over here under the block references there, I've got it, its full botanical name, its common name and code, and all that information is drawn from the plant database file. So that's by far the simplest way to work with plant databases when you are working with GCAD+. You can find all the tall trees or ground cover plants, put them all in a group and then select one of them. An alternative way to work is to go to the Tools drop-down menu and pick Plant Database. What that does is start, provided it's installed, and you can ask us for a copy if you need one. It installs our particular plant database, our personal plant database, which is called SPPDB. So here we are, 190 entries in the sample one, and we can scroll through those entries. We can find the Acer that is in there. We can, you can see it's got several records. This will find another Acer Acer Palmatum for little examples. The advantage of this system is when you are dressing up your um, your design and you want to show Acer for the sake of argument being used with a in some with some courtyard decking, you can you can highlight the image name it's stored on your computer and you can post paste it into the GCAD Plus design. You can do all sorts of searching, quite sophisticated searching here. You want plants that are suitable for full sun but dry conditions. You can sort on plant type and all sorts of sorting can be done. The third type of database that can be used, let me just close this one. I'll exit from there. I don't need to copy the database. The third type of database is to go tools an online plant database and what that does is jump to and fire up your browser pointing at a free online plant database developed by uh, a UK company called Deep Root and I could do the same sort of search here type in Acer and this is a massive online database so you get a 
huge list of ACERs that are available and the photographs I had hoped to get a good one here the photographs here are those that are available are very high quality indeed and you can use those in your own design work if you buy the installable version of deep root software so you can use this one for free but if you want the high resolution images that come with the deep root software then you need to purchase it for a very modest 35 40 dollars or thereabouts so i hope you can see that it's possible to use different databases for different purposes when you're working with GCAD Plus. If you come back here, once all the plants are tagged, let's do another one, let's tag that one to a lavender. So we go GCAD Plus, plant schedules, set data to this plant. We'll search for lavendula. So we'll go type the first few characters of the name and why didn't that find it? I'm not sure. Let's go back again. The botanical name is uh, is sorted by in correct order. Maybe it wants Lavendula, and we'll do that. That did it. So again, my spelling was a little dicey. So we can say we want to use English lavender there, and we go okay so now when we select the english lavender you can see it's tagged over here botanical name common name and a code once they're coded in this way you can then add a code a text piece of text over the top of the symbol if you want or you can draw the plant schedule 150 enter corner point there corner point there and the plant schedule gets drawn showing the symbol and the botanical and common name it's drawn in the color that's cur currently operational and uh, it's by layer so layer one must have uh, that brown color associated with it so i digress a little but i hope that gives you some idea of the value of plant databases while you're using gcad plus